We're watching Toledo. This is the craziest VTuber terminations of all time. The end of a VTuber's journey. When a talent leaves a VTuber company and puts an end to their activities, gang, we generally call that a graduation. It's a heartfelt yet bittersweet time of remembering great memories. But some VTubers don't get that happy send off and instead are punished. But Corpse hit them with that. <laughs> Damn. These are terminated VTubers. VTubers who had their contracts deliberately seized due to their actions, incidents, or violations. So, hey, yo, it's Toledo, that fallen angel kicked out. Toledo. And these are the craziest VTuber terminations of all time. And the conversation surrounding them. Get some snacks, get some water, get yourself a Terminator bot, and let's get on with the video. Listen to this track record for a second. Controlled substances, soliciting fans, and a secret relationship with management. What? what kind of person appears in your mind? A bad bitch, a goth, or punk rock star? Someone did all those things, and this is the person behind it. Rira Ron, also known as Kyoresu, was previously a member scouted by VTuber agency Idol Corp for mm. Project Star. She was commonly known for her unhinged personality, unique covers of popular songs, and being a bit too connected with fans. But no one, and I mean no one, was ready for the real unhinged You is in trouble. Uh -oh. On the first week of November, to celebrate the beginning of NNN, Rira Ron hosted a very sus private member stream. But the top left read the following, 250 and I take silly pills. Hmm? Hold up. Wait a minute. 250 for a silly pill. The street said it was sleeping pills, but that goal alone is crazy. Later on, she began forming her harem. What? Like an actual harem oh, of no. her members. She wrote some rules that were interesting. Hey, at least she beat the YouTuber allegations. No minors. <laughs> and this harem would have these members meet uncomfortable details. You like to meet me and perhaps even try me? <laughs> Imagine having the opportunity to spend one day with Lorito, one day on one night. Ew. <laughs> that would be bad. To actually meet me, you would have to travel. <laughs> and wouldn't you feel jealous if there was other people? Hmm? So yeah, gather your signatures. <laughs> and when we have them, well, we'll see. We'll see what we do. <laughs> what makes this even creepier? That look like a little lolly, bro. Isn't that like a child model? I don't like that. Shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can call me weird. You can call me like cringe, whatever. But I just find it weird. I find it very, very weird. And the fact that there's a market for it as well. Like if you, if you, if you're mad at anything I just said right now, you're probably the problem. You probably like little kids on my face. Then I like take one and I like call them and I say, it's your toy. If you want, you can visit me. <laughs> Imagine, even though it sounds very insane, but I don't know, speaking to you makes it makes it sound less insane, you know? Alright, Toledo, speed up the motherfucker, I don't want to listen to this bitch whispering to me for seven more minutes, damn! I, yeah, that was really uncomfortable, I apologize. So yeah, it has to be top secret. <laughs> you know me, I die before I turn snitch. We tell them nothing. They got nothing. Rero made a post detailing that the remarks during the stream were jokes, and she'd be on hiatus for her declining mental health. Oh, a new tweet! I hope she's doing well. Bitch ass. Nigga, I got a job. This is home now, nigga. Believe it, they gonna pay your boy. Snitch, bitch, on November 28th, <laughs> roughly three and a half weeks after her hiatus announcement, Idol Corp dropped a notice regarding the termination of Rero Ron. We were able to confirm that Rero Ron violated her contract in the following ways. Misuse of controlled substances during live stream performances, soliciting fans during live stream members' content for private offline meetups, meeting with a fan in person, it should have been what? Me, not him. accepting gifts from said fan and the total value of thousands of dollars, and conducting Conducting a secretive relationship with a now terminated member of the idol management. And that person is speculated to be the lead talent manager. Holy sh! It's getting crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. If this was, I didn't even hear about this. This is my first time hearing about this. But I feel like if it was a dude, this would be a, getting crazy. Like imagine one of the dudes in one of the agencies. That would be blown up crazy. Because it's so much creepier when it's a guy, bro. You know what I mean? It's so much creepier when a guy's like, hey, you wanna meet up? Hey, you wanna? When it, and then when it's like, 
It's just talking about something. You wanna meet up? I gotta hear him. Hi. You know what I mean? I don't fing know, dude. All of this was truly a needy streamer's overload. Due to some accusations, Kyoresu posted an update on her inactive main that same day. There's an insane amount of speculation going on, but unfortunately, I can't clarify things because of an NDA. I'll say one thing, though. I am extremely disappointed, and I have nothing to apologize for. I'd oh. like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. We will be so bad. That's... <laughs> That's kind of rockstar. And it doesn't end there. The following day, Kyoresu tweeted this. Look at this. Look at this. The tweet got deleted for violating Twitter rules. But yeah, we already started off with one of the wildest VTuber terminations. Kind of hard to handle on my end. But the next incident could have been handled a bit better. This termination involves two talents. If you're really apologize, chat when you're a content creator, apologizing is probably the worst thing you can do. Apologizing is probably like the absolute worst thing you can do. I don't give a if I run over like seven kids with a car. I'd be like, my fault, I guess. I don't apologize though. Like, I don't give a f if you're a content creator. Cause then once you apologize, my f is gonna be like, oh my god, look at this piece of sh. They're just gonna use you, use it as like a way to drag. Like they're gonna drag you regardless. They're gonna drag you regardless. So it's that I'm tripling down on anything. F that sh. Yuzuki Roy. Don't get me wrong. If I if I wrong someone one to one, I apologize man to man. But I'm not apologizing to the f internet. You can suck my d dude. Apologizing to the internet when a bunch of piece of sh motherfucker online don't go outside. They can suck my dick. About the and the now terminated King Yozaka Miro. <laughs> what did he say? Roa and Miro were two Japanese Niji Sanji VTubers, with Miro debuting a year after Roa, making Roa her senpai. When Miro debuted, she sometimes let out an accent or the conjunction they all. <laughs> However, this accent was allegedly similar to Roa, who specifically curated such phrasing as her unique character trait. Yikes, VTubers being unoriginal, who would have thought? All of this and some speculation has a lot of problems. We don't know every time frame, but at some point, Roa submitted some request from Yuro to alter her accent due to quote, character overlap and Roa's character setting being potentially broken. According to Roa's screenshots released on October 21st, 2020, she first DM Yuro on August 2nd, requesting utmost importance to talk in person one on one for VTuber activities. Yuro had stole my whole flow, word for word, bar for bar. <laughs> pretty known about the accent issue you and she requested for her to remain calm. She further stated that her dialect is from how she was raised and how she wasn't intentionally imitating Roa's character quote mm -hmm. alongside the difference in how they use the words. Roa's deo is used in conjunction similar to you know Date Beo and Naruto. However Miro's deo is a imagine yo imagine another VTuber just be like Abla Besitos Abla Besitos Abla Chat Abla Besitos and make it their whole <laughs> Don't even gotta imagine, really. Of natural dialect, and that is used as an adverb. Also, people usually use deo instead of dio. Look, grandma's not my forte. I'm an American, and I'm sorry. I don't speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. So take TMPC English's explanation as a potential source. It wasn't me. Mira goes on to state she'd be as careful as possible and had no intentions to look down on Roa, yet her opinion would still stand and they could have a conversation. Cancel, cancel, cancel immediately. Cancel. What did I say? Something? Wait, what did I say? I was eating a chip. Why I saying cancel? What did I say? Badass? Okay. Then she confused. Oh, you're talking about the video? Is that what you're talking about? No, you canceled the person copying you. Canceled monkey. Did that bitch call me a monkey? I'm gonna ban that. The bit? Oh, okay, gotcha. Roa was to speak to Mira directly as there were some things she couldn't relay speaking through manager. Mira responds that she's fine speaking directly one-on-one, -on -one, but not about a conversation of pakari. It's kind of a Japanese word for copy or imitation. Mm. Roa continued that she wished to meet up possibly today and stressed the importance of such a conversation as the topic has- I'm not gonna lie, hold on real quick. Speaking about imitation and, and fucking copying, I don't know how some of these like big VTubers do it. Like the amount of like Shy Lily clones, I said, I don't know how Shy Lily just stays quiet. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I just seen some on my feet. Chomp, 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 chomp. Bitch, what the fuck? get the fuck on my face? It's crazy. I don't know how these VTubers stay quiet because me personally, I'm meeting up at a con. I'm gonna catch you lacking at a Twitch con. You're gonna see me. You know what I mean? In game, of course. Not received due process despite three weeks of talking through manager. This kind of gives us a time frame of when this topic likely started. Somewhere mid-July. Roa okay. further explains why the character Yuzuki Roa is so important to her. Being a VTuber for one and a half years, she'd put in countless amounts of effort into her character. Okay. Yuzuki Roa is her baby. Yuzuki Roa is like her life, which is why she'd like to talk to Miro. Also, mm. according to Roa, she had never used the phrasing pockery to Miro and was not wanting Miro to change her dialect. There's no further reply that we can find. That was a lot, but we have to go over everything. Mm. Two months later, though, this took a drastic turn. Lost. 
is in trouble. Due to the hot turmoil surrounding the talents, Miro requested Niji Sanji to make a statement. However, according to Niji Sanji, they quote, wish to remain fair and unbiased, leading to her submitting a request for graduation, which was later withdrawn. On a later stream, Miro suggested she experience harassment by another virtual liver from Niji Sanji, and discussed with Niji Sanji regarding uh -oh. the termination of her contract, further claiming that she had permission to reveal this info. To this claim, Niji Sanji said, no! and suspended her for breaking NDA. <laughs> Miro then submitted a second graduation request. Agency suck. Later, she requested management to cancel the graduation alongside gaining permission to post on YouTube and social media. However, due to repeated requests and withdrawals of graduation and the breach of NDA, Niji Sanji rejected her request and continued with graduation. So how did this go from a graduation to Miro's termination? Here's an anonymous source <laughs> reached out to Narakami Sabaki, a heavily blacklisted drama VTuber with Ooh. a track record of spreading false rumors, and he released several accounts of confidential information involving Miro's experience. Although Sabaki claims this source came from a personal friend rather than Miro herself, they charged her and she got terminated. Dang. Damn, the that's not that went on an indefinite hiatus shortly afterward and the following year announced going to court with Niji Sanji against an individual for slander allegedly against Narakami Sabaki allegedly in criminal court instead of civil court confirming there had been a criminal yes criminal case uh -oh. not civil case and allegedly the massive corporation loss ah! this is practically impossible to discuss from an English perspective. I kind of had to see this from a Japanese perspective. So shout out to Likoris Banashi because I literally had to ask her a lot okay. of questions about Japanese culture and dialects mm. and how those things work. Check them out or I'll crush your skull. This is what I interpreted. If okay. I make a mistake, this is my fault. In Japan, they verbally say pronunciation sometimes. So mm -hmm. de in stand Japanese is like saying comma. So adding a yo is a dialect way of saying comma or like. Some Japanese fans look at Mio's mm. usage and say she's being correct. For example, Examples of Deyo Soreikayo is likely a dialect version of Date Soreikayo or De Soreikayo. Mm. I could not tell you what those mean. Calling her Bakery for wanting her to alter her speech is a little odd. Moreover, she mentioned stopping using the dialect in Light and Roa's character setting. But when I look at the messages, Roa specifically states she never referred to Mira as Bakery or wanted her to change her dialect. Mm. So where did the Bakery label come from? And why is this a bit inconsistent with Niji's termination timeline? Mm. Before we get into that, why is this even an issue? It can't be that deep, right? Well, you and I are likely English speakers. Let's look into Japanese idol culture and character setting. Shout out mm. to Hey Well, this video that's now deleted, and however you pronounce this name, I ain't reading all that. for a comment surrounding Eastern perspectives. Let's talk about it. There's a side that attacks Roa for what went down, but let's look into the other side of context. This invented accent Roa does is kind of like her character and identity. In Japanese mm. idol culture, talent sometimes take words and phrases to form their I'm character. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what the f*** is going on. I have not followed since since he started talking about this. If I'm being honest, I, like, I don't know if I'm just stupid. Like, y'all are laughing. What are y'all even laughing about? I'm so serious. Neither I am f***ing confused. Like, I'm, I am, like, confused is an understatement. What the f***? are we talking about here dude no because me too i am lo i don't even know who's who who's what who's imitating who what the company's under the company what comma i'm lost this is too much why is she staring at me like that hi hello i see you staring at the back of my head you like my hat character and how they're known online as a result this character is very important for these vtubers and their fan base oh hmm. someone used this unique phrase you're talking about this talent right think about it for creators you may watch what is henya the genius's trait the kettle laugh and saying dio enjoy some tea dio oh thanks man Thanks, Dale. Fans of Henya immediately think of her. The gap mm. in language and culture creates this big. <sighs> chat, chat. Is there anything that that come to mind when you think of me? Any anything like me? Sippy, sippy. Well, you, do you want it or not? The finger. Honestly, just you screaming. Heard you. Copy. Big misconception of why such a thing is even that deep because i'll be honest with you when i first saw this i thought it ain't that deep multiple people allegedly using a similar word is not going to ruin either you guys's career but again i'm black, you're black. <laughs> I'm, American. I'm not japanese what i think is this i think there was a lot of miscommunication and mishandling of the situation and everyone took the fall mira was terminated and this incident is likely why roa hasn't streamed in three years damn From fans speculating and throwing accusations around willy-nilly to even in the business side. If Roa states she never referred to Miro as Bakery, Miro states she heard the phrase Bakery from outside sources, and the termination notice specifically states that Roa submitted a request for Miro to alter slash change the accent she used. This just proves it was 
an other mess. I don't think anyone here is the bully channers, ruminators, or elitists make them out to be. People just respond in weird ways. There's mm. also the allegation that Mira never used the accent that uh, before reincarnating. Pat Akuri equals copycat. So she's copying. Yeah, I'm fucking learning, bro. We that was five. Six minutes and I finally got it. Heard you. Into Neji Sanji. I can't prove if this is right or wrong. But with what I've legally seen, I don't know if there's a big bad wolf here rather than just an unfortunate mishandling of events from many sides. I personally think management could have set up a one-on-one -on -one business meeting to talk about their concerns. And I'm not talking alone or through other managers. I'm talking about with a moderator in between them for equal footing. Not mm. what went down. And this next one. God, I wish the talent handled this better. Rushia oh, debuted the no. whole on July 18th. What do you mean you handled it better? Wasn't she like, um, didn't she just get sh on because she had a man or something? Oh, shit, Rushia. I swear, I don't know if this is the right one. I don't know. There's a bunch of VTubers. But I'm pretty sure, is this the one that was like, um, that had like a man and it got leaked? Like a Discord type shit? Yeah, it is. Got you. Heard you. 2019 and quickly rose to be a golden child. This soft-spoken, rage-screaming, and affection-seeking girl stole the hearts of so many fans. And she became the biggest super-chatted VTuber and YouTuber by Dang. a wide margin. But there is something interesting here. In a lot of her streams, she played the role of an obsessive girl in love, longing for lonely and attached viewers. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start doing that, chat. You like that? Ew, ew, no, hell no, 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 please no, don't. And unfollowed. Okay, my fault. Damn. Yeah, asses. I won't, I won't, I won't be fucking crazy boyfriend. I, I'll be a one. I'm about to beat your ass. Get your little bitch ass over here, little bitch ass. Yo, my daddy. That's some respect. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that bitch crazy. Oh, hell no. She went more into the parasocial site than anyone else. Kelsey even sold her own wedding ring for birthday merch. But one leaked message started the course for Rusia's disaster. Uh-oh. You Cardi, shut the f*** up. In mid-February, a Discord pop-up appeared on Rusia's stream with Miko. This message was from Mafu Mafu, a famous Japanese male singer. And it read, quote, I just finished streaming. Gonna go home now, Michan. Now, how did one message from a likely close friend become such a big deal? Uh -oh. Let me stress this again. Rusia was the girlfriend experience streamer. This meant that Rusia's fan base was filled with not just gachikois, fans who were in love with idols, but also unicorn, fans who wanted their idol to stay pure of opposite sex interaction. In other words, Rushia having another male companion in any way was a crime. Mafu Mafu also had several rabid female fans upset at the interaction of other TV havers. Oh, this no. message started a massive rumor online. Rushia and Mafu Mafu were living together. Rushia and Mafu Mafu were secretly dating. And this rumor, my god. Yo, look. Look right there. Your friend is trying to say hi to you. <laughs> oh shit, it might be the ops. It was <laughs> wild. There's no way out of this one. Parasocials were enraged. People were distraught. They were destroyed. I swear when this happened, I saw countless things fall to their knees in the Walmart. <laughs> social fans this remind me this remind me y'all ever see that twitter post when some there's like a girl getting back shots and someone just goes no with crying emojis <laughs> yo please tell me know what i'm talking about no bro it's literally it's a girl on the bed taking a picture and she's getting back shots bro and someone comments under just no with crying emojis a grown-ass man twitter canceled their memberships in mass and even found ways to rid their Rushia merch. Hey. Certainly, the majority of people didn't give a shit. We do not care. And some were even supportive of Rushia and Mafu Mafu, whether the rumors were true or not. But sometimes the harassment and hate speak the loudest. Covercorp released a statement that they wouldn't restrict Rushia's private life and for fans to stop spreading falsehoods. While Mafu Mafu denied the rumors of them living together or being in a relationship, Rushia mostly had to stay silent. And throughout all of this, hey. Kelsey was suffering. She was, understandably, having a mental breakdown. And likely the worst mistakes she made sending information to Japanese drama tubers no. Kori and Naokami Sabaki to help clear her name. The former showed several leaked chats and messages, and some against her consent. In this case, Rushia's destructive impulsivity led to her downfall. No. On February 24, 2022, Cover Corp released a statement terminating their contract with Rushia because she had been, quote, distributing false information to third parties and has been leaking information, including communication. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Business matter. Oh, hello, live on this one. Oh, hello, live. Yeah, she, she.
skin went out try to clear her name whatever's like screenshots but still i don't know i feel like you could back your talents a little bit more you know what i mean especially over a situation is stupid the most profitable hollow life asset was terminated just like that and with what happened they kind of had to no surprise it caused a storm when the phrase vtuber termination pops up people always think rushia because People loved her. Many people sympathize with her pain from the experience, as mm. well as practically being betrayed by Korakori. However, Thank others you. feel that due to her irrational and Minhara-like responses, Rushia paved the path to her own downfall. I feel both are valid opinions to have, but this does have a good outcome. It has been publicly inferred that Mikei Neko and Rushia were connected, so I can mention this without the ops on me. Since then, Mikei Neko seems to be doing alright. She recently joined Voice Ore, a virtual voice actor agency, and is making her debut with Pony Can in the spring, and with some other their help she's completely bounced back i want to give credit to the press mm. Masagi and rima evanstar who both go way more into detail on this situation than i did check them out or i'll eat your lobster tails <laughs> this next story though has no rise just a fall on december 10th oh, no. zara debuted for nichi sanji alongside five other exolier members she was known for being energetic and engaging yeah, all of a sudden it's just working all of a sudden i just i reset the computer i restarted did you restart it yeah i restarted it Run, okay I'm having a very expressive model some odd jokes yeah, i love little boys yeah. And so I use little boys. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You reacted to this girl before? Sure did. I kind of want to talk to her to see how it was on the other side, bro. How it was being in a in a corp. And overall out of pocket. She streamed on the Niji Sanji for only two months. Damn. On February 8th, 2022, Niji Sanji announced a temporary suspension of Zion Lance's activities due to the following reasons. Remarks showing no intention to improve from previous issues and false statements during streams, discrepancies between information given to management by Zion Lancer and her acts, and the most attributed of Yab. Oh. oh no. Man, no wonder she got, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, wow, hi. I feel like I would be more likely to get in here. Anyway. Insensitive jokes that cannot be tolerated as a Niti Sanji liver. This was her last stream, so however Damn. either side feels, I don't care. It got her marked This month, I don't care. <laughs> some other clips brought widespread attention to her. Mostly bad. After several weeks, there were no updates. Then began another rumor. Due to her controversy and behavior, Zion would be graduating. Damn. Yeah, maybe bring that up to a termination. On March 10th, Niji Sandi dropped a massive notice regarding Zion's termination and stated that- Chat, remember reading that f***ing like 20 page twit longer, dude? Oh, shit. Her January and February suspension- That was quote, a f***ing time. I'm not gonna lie. That was the hardest moment of my f***ing streaming career. Reading, bitch. I swear to God. That was harder than any other f***ing story game I ever read with no dialogue. That was- It was just a whole lot of words. No background, no nothing. It was- just me did behavior and understanding of the rules did not improve and if you thought rira ron's four bullet points were too much info to cause damage imagine zion receiving 12 different public God. violations out of pocket for that shit. assault theft fraud dui breaking and entering solicitation armed robbery shoplifting aggravated assault the sides were mixed some were disappointed that she wasted an opportunity in niji sanji others thought she was simply too base for them some criticized zion for her faults others hated niji sanji for showing too much the magnitude of reactions went way too far several took the notion to harass and threatened Zion with the opposite spectrum spreading hate to Niji and its members. However, two months Yo, later, the fighting. public's perspective massively changed. Wait, where's Frieza? On May 5th, <laughs> Sayu dropped a document detailing Zion's side of the story. Z One girl's story. And another man's f***ing struggle. Holy shit, chat. We woke up at like 10 a.m. to read this shit. Brother, when I tell you I was struggling, holy shit, I scrolled through the whole vibe. Thing. There were so many words, some of them with multiple syllables. Holy shit! He gives Zion's response to several statements against her, such as revealing internal information, offensive remarks surrounding others, infringement of rules by any color, giving false info, and other actions that infringe the rules and contracts. She also detailed her own experience with Neji Sanji, stating several signs of mismanagement, questionable reasons for getting into trouble, and her January break that was actually a stealth suspension. I Honestly, I think I think I remember my take on this, bro, and it was pretty much just, I feel like she wasn't fit for agency. You know what I mean? I felt like like agencies are just super strict and they gotta keep a squeaky clean record. You feel me? They gotta make sure. It's like it's like Disney. It's like working for Disney. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and that's why the Disney people just start going crazy to get out of the has contracts and shit. but i mean i feel like she just wasn't she, like indie indie is for me i'm i'm better for indie you know what i mean i say a bunch of crazy out-of-pocket i don't care i don't i don't hold my tongue i say whatever 
I want. You know what I mean? I mean we make bad jokes. We make good jokes. We make whatever fuck. That is that is what it is. But I feel like um some people are meant for indie and some people are me meant for agencies. You feel me? And if you're in an agency, I feel like you got to be clear cut, like clean cut. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I felt like it was just unfortunate for both sides. I can't be too word specific, but to accounts of harassment and doxings he received from the controversy. Shit got bad, bad. Let me preface this. This is Zion's experience and her accounts. And there are perspectives that go more into this than me. I would recommend you read fully into the situation and all statements available online. Oh, my brain like a a commentator accounts as zion requests in the document as a third party this will not be twisted in any way to damage needy and its livers of course come to your own conclusion but yeah this document took the scene by storm a lot of people in the vtuber fan base hit chains teams and sided with zion fellas took the document as further proof to label niji sanji a black company you know what really sucks you know what genu genuinely sucks right so we had like niji sanji the like agency their side right like why she was terminated and then we got her side and whatever the she wanted to say we can't hear from the people that work under niji sanji that were actually in it you feel me you know what i mean so i feel like there's because like like think about it think about it think about it bro if you're under like an agency you can't drag that like me i could i could drag whatever the fuck i want you feel me but if you're in the agency you can't speak they'll be like yo don't talk about it no more you know what i mean we already made our our, our thing don't talk about it the livers yes bro ndas yeah that suck chat agencies are not fun i'm telling you right now agency i think i genuinely believe you can make it without an agency if you're if you're thinking about going into like a v2 that shit it's such a waste of time. I mean, no, 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 you could, you could maximize your time there. You could get a cult following and then switch over to v shoujo or something <laughs> you can go get a v shoujo contract you feel me but um i i think overall it's probably better to just be indie dude because you can't speak there's nothing like it's almost like you're selling your soul at that point dude you you can't speak on what you want to speak about if your manager's like yo don't talk about this no more don't say this no you can't tweet that like you lose all your your voice you lose your voice and the moment you lose your voice and you can't speak for yourself you're not even a human anymore bro you're a puppet you see what i'm saying i don't know though they limit your content so much not only do they limit your content they limit your voice and your opinions that's the worst part if you're limiting content sure like we wouldn't be able to do reacting streams if we're on an agency but what i'm saying is i can't have my own opinions my opinion has to be the company's opinion you feel me that's the fucked up part that's what i don't like and with Sayu speaking further of Zion's experiences, even just months ago from this upload, it's still a hot topic. This isn't easy to address, so let's go into what Oh yeah, is. if I was her, I'd bring that sh every f***ing month. <laughs> Fucking okay, what? I'll, I'll be dragging it every single month. Oh, Niji Sanji was, was a home for me. And, oh, <laughs> like what? I'll be on that every day. What are you talking about? I'll be about 30 videos every f***ing month for this sh Perspective heavily sides with Zion. They state that the exposed Annie Color and her livelihood was screwed over from the experience. Another perspective heavily criticizes her. They state that even with Niji's problems, Zion's behaviors were awful and erratic for the company. I think both of them are, were at fault. Again, I don't think she was meant for like company and Niji Sanji is just Niji Sanji. It's a agency. What do you expect? But you can probably tell both sides have biases. No matter what I say, people will be on my dick. But keep in mind two things. I'm not a Niji stan, nor do I ride on for Zion. What are you nope. saying? Here's what I think. Zion was destroyed from what went down, but I can't exactly excuse her behaviors getting her in trouble. There are things I think weren't worth getting in trouble for, and things that absolutely f warranted it. But she's not a bad person, just looking in the wrong place for the wrong priorities. Not everyone's fit for corp. Myself included, I left heaven for a reason. Damn but people can criticize the corp and how they handle things. I'm even surprised they hired Zion in the first place if she didn't meet company culture. Look, I don't like people throwing black company will- She shouldn't make R word jokes because R word jokes are never funny. Yeah, dude, I agree. I don't even like saying a word to be honest with you. Dude, if Cat Williams himself, bro, one of the funniest men on the fucking planet is saying R word, R word jokes are not funny, fucker, you know damn well. You, I, you don't even need him to say it, but just if you need some clarification, you feel me? Just so you you, you know, you know what I'm saying? But some people will have that mindset until they see major improvements. Just kidding, people will continue mindlessly attacking others. <laughs> But it really doesn't look like things are improving. In conclusion, I can't see this shit as black and white. It feels like everyone was looking in the wrong place, and as a result, everybody came out horribly. Some more than others. Both Zion plus Sayu and Niji plus its livers have moved in opposite directions. And to this day, both sides have antis. Come to your own conclusion, support whatever side you want, and don't harass people or be weird. And or don't YouTube give a Nations is a rather unfortunate story. There's a VTuber story that's completely avoided in this scene. Understandably. It's like the topic you don't bring up. Instead of politics at the dinner table, it's this. But what if I told you that instead of there being five members of Hololive's first full generation, there was actually a sixth member. What? Hitomi Chris. Hitomi Chris released a debut video for Hololive on June 3rd, 2018. Her model stood out, but I mean she was part of the theme. And then, 
She got suspended and terminated three weeks later. Damn! Now you're fired. But something specific was mentioned. Quote, we are not involved in this trouble. Oh yeah, the illustrator got fired too. What the hell happened? A lot huh? of rumors circulated around Reddit, 4chan, 5chan, and even VTuber wiki pages. This is where the information becomes very shoddy and the situation gets dark and will be treated with its proper tone. First, take everything I say with a grain of salt. A lot of this story is lost due to translation issues, deleted tweets, and confidential info that I can't really show. Second, if these topics make you uncomfortable, Please skip to this part of the video. Okay, here's how I understand this story. Enter this nigga. We're going to call him P because I ain't giving him no validation. He's also hey, so like P. a proud anti of taking down VTubers if you check his Twitter. He ain't shit. Chris and P met sometime before Hololive. He offered Hitomi Chris money, tech support, and equipment to increase her chance of getting into the job. This came out to what I think was over 200,000 yen. Might have been even How much more. is that yeah, in he USD? He kind of like her producer. If that how much is that? 200? 200 yen in USD. A thousand dollars? Heard you. She passed the test. However, in return, Chris would be his lover. Basically compensated dating. Get-togethers, romantic messages, and intimate encounters. It's a weird transactional relationship, right? But it seemed consensual. All Life had no age requirement for auditions at the time. Oh, no. It is highly rumored that Chris was allegedly a minor. Oh, After no. After she got into Hall Life, Chris announced on a Twit casting stream of wanting to stop the compensated dating. With some other words, I can't relate. He he was upset with the relationship likely ending. He wanted his lended money and equipment back, but she refused and threatened the police. Furious, P revealed everything on Twitter, oh. how she stole hundreds and thousands worth of yen. And he hard doxed her, revealing her name and personal info, their messages, their affair, everything. This obviously breached her contract. She was fired, and all accounts of Hitomi Chris's presence have been sacked from CoverCorp. Holy shit. This termination story is completely avoided by everyone. All live VTubers and fans alike. I mean, realistically, there just isn't a good time to bring it up. And then when you dive into this, shit, it's bone chilling. That's just how it is. This was hella hard to put Dox? together. Some Yo, chat, question, question. What is doxing, bro? Like, what is what is considered doxing? Just kind of curious. Leaking name and info? Okay, got you. Versions present Chris as the bad one or not innocent, and others show P as the piece of shit. Some tell an entirely different story. Like, this has no mention of compensated dating, and it's on a goddamn wiki chris's vtuber career took the main fall no matter what and that's all lives lost vtuber i want to give credit to the press nasagi who i think put together a really concise coverage of the chris incident so go check that out as well as every video i've flashed on screen but we ain't done here just yet what the f is this piece of sh gang let's brighten the lights a bit You've seen the craziest VTuber terminations. Before we cap mm. this video, I kind of want to open a debate for y'all. A lot of these corporations have different variations of their transparency. Y'all see the vision? Y'all see, see the, the money? money? Some corps reveal a lot, some reveal too much, and some don't reveal a damn thing. There has been one heavily debated topic in the VTuber scene. How transparent should VTuber agencies truly be for stuff? They're not, bro. They're not transparent at all. Stuff like this. Should they state the specific reasons that led to being fired? Or should they just keep it vague to breaches and contracts? That's not how the game is played. Massive transparency is not common in other industries or jobs. Imagine you work for Subway. You get fired, and on their website, Subway reveals how trash you were at safety <laughs> protocol and being proper work. I say this with the utmost disrespect. Oh, you are the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? <laughs> the difference is that VTubers are public figures with dedicated fan bases. And because a lot of things in VTubing are kept behind bars, some rabid fans want to know everything. Which is why people want transparency. But they also don't at the same time. Here's mm. the problem. VTuber agencies have gotten massive backlash for either hiding too much or being too transparent for terminations and graduation. On one hand, if they don't state specifics, the fans demand an explanation. People will spread rumors, think they're concealing bad actions, and then they attack a company. On another hand, when they state specifics, the fans are enraged, publicly lambasting the errors of a talent screws them over, therefore people attack the company. It's a lose-lose <laughs> situation. True! <laughs> Actually true! I would... I hate to be a company. <laughs> I would hate to be a company, bro. <laughs> Chat, someone joins your organization, says some crazy sh under your org. You know, you know, maybe, maybe I should just start kidnapping kids and eating them and sh You know what I mean? It'd be so much fun to just. That'd be so great. And then they're like, you're fired. <laughs> yeah, why would you fire him, you piece of shit? <laughs> you <laughs> but that's how i see it what do you think should agencies be more or less transparent on these things let me know what you think in the comments below yeah. don't kill each other
Please. In conclusion, <laughs> terminations are a lot more weighted than graduations. Some talents screwed up royally or felt screwed over. Others made bad decisions. In general, if you join a VTuber agency, be careful to read contracts and most importantly, protect your peace. Is that why you aren't in a company? I'm not in a company because I'm probably not meant for a company, bro. I tried it when uh, before I started like this VTubing. Sh I tried to join a company chat. I made it all the way to like the end of the the, sh and then I never got a. Then you're like, hey, buddy, you didn't make it. Sorry, pal. You feel me? But it's okay. We're averaging more than them. You understand? They missed out. They missed out. I know they're mad. Ah ha! Ah ha! I got more clout than all your livers. Ah ha! Bitch, ah ha! You mad? You mad? You mad? Ah ha! F you talk about? Bitch. But chat, like chat. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine this. Like all the controversy that we've been in. Just imagine. Just imagine, mother. Like, like they they wouldn't even let me speak on it. You know how I I make I talk about every I'm very open about every controversy we've ever been in. You know what I mean, mother? I don't go. I'll talk about it regardless. I take my L's, I take W's, and then that's it. You feel me? But the one thing is, I talk about it. You feel me? So that being said, I wouldn't be able to talk about it in an agency. So I don't even think I would even be like, I don't know, dude. Again, agencies are just like, like you're in prison, dude. You lose your your opinion, you lose your voice, and in exchange, you get clout. But you're a puppet. You feel me? I don't, I don't know, bro. And if we have any uh like lurking people that are in agencies right now, bro, you know what I mean? Because I know some some be popping in. Hey, if I'm wrong, you can tell me. You know what I mean, you can DM me, DM me and. Sh but hey, bro, hey man, say man, Kenji would graduate on the first day. What I would do, I would do it smart. I would try to get get away with as much as I could get away with. Because first of all, it's not like I'm bad. I'm not bad. I just speak a lot. Okay, I'm a very I'm very vocal with my opinions. So that's probably the only like that's the quote unquote bad part about me, right? And people don't like opinions and motherfuckers want to fight and shit like that. That's why motherfuckers be trying to blackball me and, and I see screenshots of DMs and shit because I'm opinionated. It's fine, bro. I understand. We don't agree with each other, whatever. But very unfiltered. I'm very unfiltered. But I'm not gonna say no. In a, I mean, if we compare it to the, the video we just watched about the termination, I, I don't think I'm doing any of that. So what I would do, I would join in. I would stay there for like, let's say two years, four years, whatever the, fuck the contract is, get all my cloud up and then go move, move on to something and then just like do the same. Shit, you feel me? But just better. And then I'll drag it. I'll drag it like a mother. And, and I'm in L.A. I don't think NDAs really matter over here, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'll be speaking fuck an NDA. Take me to court. I'm getting it off. Yeah, me fucked up. Yeah, me fucked up he's out of pocket and speaks his mind that's why i love him uh and he keeps it real thank you bro a lot of people i feel like nowadays a lot of people are very scared on just speaking their mind you feel me i, I don't mind at all mother i do not mind at all i'm going to talk if that's one thing if there's one thing i do is gonna be to talk i'm sorry that that's one thing y'all can remember me for bro ah I, i'll talk motherfucker <laughs> and you know sometimes i have the opinions that you won't agree with sometimes i do have opinions that you agree with but at the end of the day i'm speaking what i want to say and that you know that's that's all you can do as a human being bro you feel me that's the cool part about just speaking you can just speak you feel me you feel me chat speak your truth yes sir